Let's say Paul is buying a house from Kate for $500,000. The banks then use a portion of its reserves and in order to expand their balance sheet. Note that the proportions are grossly exaggerated in reality a very small portion of the bank's reserves are needed in order to create the loan. The banks then expand their balance sheet on both sides with $500,000. Paul will get a $500,000 loan, which the bank register as an asset and Kate will get $500,000 on her deposit on the other side of the balance sheet, which the bank will register as an liability. Note that no deposits are used in the process. The bank just expand the balance sheet on both sides, based on a portion of their bank reserves. Now let's say Paul and Kate fall in love and get married. Kate pays of Paul's loan with her $500,000 and the money, or more accurately credit, will cease to exist. Both the bank's liabilities and assets will then shrink simultaneously on both sides on the bank's balance sheet. This will also free up the portion the bank used of its reserves, which then can be reused. Note again that no deposits are used in the process.